What is going on world? Welcome back once again. My name is Zach Novak and this is Zach Novak Plays Games. Or late Novak. Or although actually today it's not so much late. Today's video we got this week Spiders Wanted Bounty the Arcadian Chord. Sorry if I sound a little bit choked up. I actually haven't been losing my voice because of this sickness. But anyway, let's roll the intro, let's get right into it and I do hope you certainly enjoy. Alrighty, getting straight into the video, this week we are on good old Nessus at Exodus Black. Once you've spawned in, simply jump on your sparrow and head down in this direction and there's going to be the lost sector that's chilling down in this next little area. What you're going to do is pretty much go up to this little adventure sign, click X or hold square, it will hold X or hold square, either one of them, whatever console you're on and you should be able to start up the good old adventure. Once you have started up said adventure, pretty much do a 180 and head straight down into this little cave, the good old lost sector-ish area, which this time around has big bad main guys who kind of want to chill out in it. Anyway, speaking of big bad minis, well we've got something in Destiny that isn't so big bad or mean, it is the whole new hand cannon Lumina which is pretty freaking cool. Dot Estate Rose in itself is also really freaking cool but that in itself is going to be a different video. Today's video is pretty much me just going through and clearing out all of these ads in this area, killing the good old Arcadian cord and getting the good old loot. Hopefully this time this itself in this week we could potentially maybe if we have a chance get an exotic which would be really freaking nice. I'm almost getting destroyed by these guys. They are not very nice. So might as well just use a couple of these. This guy's up here. He's chilling. Get him out of here. Where's this other snap? Where the other hell is this sniper guy coming from? I don't know where the other one's sniping me from. Anyway, let's just clear out the rest of these guys because why not? Let's just speed it up so we can get through this quickly. But once you have cleared out all the enemies, pretty much you're going to come up in this little area and it's going to say respawning restricted. Now this big guy right here is what you're going to want to take down. He's got a couple of ads around him, so pretty much blast those ads. Get them out of here because, well, less ads means, well, less damage you actually have to take. And that in itself is always a good thing and I kind of advise doing that just to kind of make things a little bit safe. Where is this guy? He's, I can just, I can one sh no, two shot him, three shot him. I could have two shot him if I actually got that headshot. Anyway, once you've taken those enemies out, pretty much just shoot this thing above him, which is a conflux. Once you have actually shot the conflux enough, conflux enough, cornflakes enough, this big guy will pretty much, you know, have no shield. You can then go in and actually attack him, go in and do ham damage on him. If you do actually have your super, use your super and pretty much take down, well, a lot of this guy's health. If you do have actual tether like I do and you are using the Mobius Quiver, that in itself can actually help you out in quite a few different situation simply because while taking out certain ads in themselves stop them from really getting close to you so they can actually take you out which never is actually a good thing so just clear out the ads be quick with it be kind of precise if you are a player like myself then kind of just be a pussy and hang out in the back but pretty much go around and look out for these actual anomalies once all of the ads are taken down you can take that anomaly down the big guy's shield will actually go down and then you can actually deal damage to him it does go in different phases so you'll have one for the first phase two for the second second phase, three for the third phase, and then finally you can actually destroy him. As you see, right now his shield does go down, we can pretty much just blast him a little bit, do a little bit of damage to him and kind of, you know, get him a bit more angry. Once that has actually happened again, then you pretty much just rinse and repeat until you have finished this actual whole lost sector in itself. It's not really too challenging, I say that about a lot of the lost sectors, but this in itself does have quite a few adds. However, a lot of the adds are the explosive kind, so that pretty much means you can kind of one shot a lot of them and if you do it's pretty much one of those things where it's death to the rest of the people that are, that are kind of around them because you know they take damage and then others take damage and then more take damage and it's, it's always good it's a good cycle anyway take the ads out once again pretty much go around look out for the cornflakes once you have actually seen the cornflakes there'll be one here you can take that out there's one up the back of the room once you've taken this one out pretty much just hide for a second come over here there is this one that we can see take this one out 
and then there should be one more which should be on the other side of the room probably behind one of the actual little shelf things so let's go see where it is is it over here nope it's not over here so it's it's right here it's up next to the actual other side so it's pretty much just one side to the next side to the next side to the next side until you have actually completed it then you can kind of just take the big boss down use a bit of your heavy if you've got heavy take him out and it's pretty quick pretty simple pretty easy and it's definitely what wait he just he had lo he lost all his health then somehow he came back to life that is uh, not right big guy that is definitely not right so let's just take him out quickly because well why not just you know blast him away I think that was all the ads no there is still a couple more ads let's just go ahead and take these guys out because you know explodey guys aren't too fun people that deal damage to you aren't too fun there is a sniper over there let's just boop he's gone okay so what do we get from this actual chest we end up getting ourselves a good old mythos hack 4.1 blue mask pretty freaking cool no, that's not what we're here for. We're here for the good old actual, you know, spiders wanted bounty. This one in itself being Arcadian Cord. So, what do we actually get from this bounty? Where is it? It is on the next screen. It is right here. Is it anything good? Give me an exotic. That would be freaking amazing, Bungie. We ended up getting ourselves a Scatterhorn Grasps. Well, that's not horrible. It could be a lot worse. Um... 739 okay that's higher than what i've got so that's actually a bonus for my hunter definitely kind of like that in itself what else did i actually get at some point apparently i got the gambler's palm again so yeah that's about i guess cade 6 is still watching out over me good old cade 6 god i miss doing his actual chests Anyway, it sounds a little bit wrong. Anyway, though, this has been Zach and Back. This has been Spider's Wanted Bounty for the week. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed this video. Hopefully, this video has been a little bit helpful. If it has, click that like button down below. Leave a comment. Let me know if you guys actually enjoy this video. Once again, if you are a new viewer, maybe hit that uh, subscribe button so you can stay up to date with my actual content. If you are a viewer that has already been subscribed, maybe hit that notification button so you can actually stay up to date with my content because YouTube does what YouTube does best and it doesn't really do it's best, but anyway, this has been Zach the Back. This has been Spider's Winter Bounty for the weekend. Hot like, Arcadian Cord, all that good stuff. Once again, this has been Zach the Back. Do all that good stuff, and I'll be Sharon like Karen ever. He was Ed Sharon. But until next time, this is Zach Novak signing off. Oh, that's that's the wrong one. Peace out.